Thank you. Or what you're looking at, yeah. Okay. Well, part of it, I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record because some of the same things I talked about in previous meetings, but um, I'm going to be requesting some things based on Lower Puna's needs based on the lava situation. Um, one of which is a repeat from last year. We're going to request an additional ambulance be made available for Lower Puna. Um, we're going to be requesting some funds uh, to est establish a community college distant learning center so people who in the possibly isolated portions of Lower Puna can continue to attend college. Um, I'm hoping to make some progress on, on an alternative route in and out of Pune, which if we had, we wouldn't be in an emergency now. It's my hope that Railroad Avenue can be opened up all the way into Hilo in some form or another. And if you guys can support that, that would be wonderful. I'm not sure if DOT will take, take, take that on, or maybe it needs to be a county thing. But I think based on the situation, um, we sure could use another way of getting to Hilo. Uh, my my big ask, which I would love if the council could uh, have an expression of support, I'm going to be asking if the State Department of Transportation can uh, consider creating a temporary harbor in Lower Puna. Harbor being a place where we can offload offload uh, modest amounts of freight, because if the lava does go to the ocean, we're talking about a minimum three-hour additional drive time each way. That's six hours minimum commute time for a truck, not to mention it'll be dirt road part of the way. And really, there's going to be a need to get some basic supplies, food, furniture, gasoline, propane, in and out of Lower Puna. And I believe there are some floating harbors around the state, and some of them can be built in a hurry. I believe the fact that there's a declaration of emergency on both the county, state, and federal level will help. Um, with some of the permitting issues that there might be. And I've been talking to uh, state DOT guys and getting, uh, if I can get some expressions of support for that, which I've requested of the mayor yesterday, I think it would go a long way in getting people to take it seriously. It's very hard for people around the state to understand the situation in Pune with regards to um, the potential isolation that may occur. Forgive me if I'm focusing on my district's needs. I don't usually do this, but we have a really unusual, very urgent situation out there. A couple of ish, and by the way, speaking of harbors, I'm also going to be hoping we can establish a very modest airport landing strip out there for small planes to come and go south of the flow. Right now, there's no landing strip down there at all. 